because you know I like maps and I think that it can provide some kind of bearing for people to understand what we're dealing with, right? You know, um, we, we're dealing with coastal erosion issues, you know, partly based on um, big industries coming to our communities um, in Louisiana and, and encroaching on these communities. Um, specifically, one of the biggest issues that's taking place is, um, I mean, you know, especially, you know, in the, in the South, we, especially in Louisiana specifically, we were one of the biggest, uh, we had one of the biggest slave industries um, in New Orleans and in, in Louisiana. Um, and a lot of these plantations, um, after the Civil War, these plantations became uh, black towns, a lot of historically black towns. And um, big industries are now buying up a lot of these plantation areas and they're encroaching on, the, on these old black towns. Um, and they're building on top of their cemeteries and they're also, you know, um, putting hazardous, you know, um, industries right next door to their house. And there's an area we're gonna go to that's called Cancer Alley. Some people call it Death Valley. And, um, you know, that area has shown a high increase of, you know, people getting cancer. But um, I was recently, last year, before Ida, Hurricane Ida, I'm gonna zoom in to Plaquemines Parish. So we're in Arlene's Parish right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. And hopefully my computer don't shut down. Because <laughs> over Earth, it takes a lot of time. <laughs> so, you know, um, New Orleans, of course, is right here. This is the Crescent. You know, they call us the Crescent City because of that Crescent right there. And the Mississippi River then goes down here. And uh, at this point, once you get to around this area, all of this area is known as Plaquemines Parish. And um, they're one of the first ones to feel the effects of any hurricane. You know, the, the land becomes lower, um, the land is eroding faster, you know, than other parts of the state. Um, and this area of Ironton, I was, somebody contacted me about, um, let me see, it's 2022. So I want to say um, December of, um, 2021. And basically there was a big industry called tall grass and they were trying to build right next to, let me zoom in, to Ironton. Right here. So there's already a big industry as you can see up here. And this is the community of Ironton right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna zoom in even more so. This might be an old picture because they were severely damaged by Ida, which then changed my our mission somewhat. January. I don't know if this is an old picture, but their cemetery is located right here. Um, and they received damage, you know, complete damage, this whole area. This is the town of Ironton, pretty much, um, which is, I think is about the size of uh, the French Quarters. You know, the French Quarters is an 11 by 6 block neighborhood. Um, and I, I believe it's about the same size as that. Um, but I was contracted to do genealogical research. Um, Ironton basically is a town that was formed from St. Rosalie Plantation. So St. Rosalie is up there. St. Rosalie Plantation was a plantation where um, sugar was produced. Then after the Civil War, um, during Reconstruction in the 1870s, Many of the formerly enslaved moved down to Ironton and um, they formed that community. And the people that still live there traced their ancestry to St. Rosalie. 